Hello, today I'm going to describe uh, LV lead implantation in a patient with no superior vena cava. Um, and what I mean by that is that both the right subclavian and left subclavian veins combine and drain into the coronary sinus um, here. So the, everything below this point uh, is massively dilated uh, and above this point, the great cardiac vein um, is normal in size. Uh, because you can't approach the coronary sinus from the right, uh, this makes this particularly difficult in terms of how to implant your, your leads. So here's the initial venogram. Uh, we got access and we're injecting contrast here to demonstrate the size of the coronary sinus. Here's the right ventricle, uh, the right atrium. In the LAO projection, you can see this is the lateral wall of the left ventricle, massively dilated uh, CS. So we started off uh, and uh, placed the Worley sheath in over a wire. That's the nine French internal diameter peel away sheath. And then we use the braided core uh, to torque uh, into the right ventricle. So here's the braided core here, and uh, the, the, the sheath itself is here. And so once we've got the braided core in place, we're able to uh, advance the sheath over the braided core. So now we have the nine French sheath uh, in the right ventricle, and we're able to deliver uh, the RV lead through the Worley sheath. The next step uh, was to take a second Worley sheath and so the sheath is here, the braided core is here and uh, we're dragging it along the lateral wall of the coronary sinus uh, looking for a lateral wall uh, target vein and in this case we happen to be fortunate uh, to locate this branch. The takeoff uh, looks a little tricky but we are able uh, to advance an 035 inch angled glide wire uh, into, the, into the target vein. And so here's the whirly sheath here and here's the tip of the braided core there. And then from there we remove the, um, the braided core and we took a vertebral shaped vein selector and inserted it into the 5 French, 5.5 French lateral vein introducer subselector, uh, and then slid that uh, over the glide wire. Um, and of course we have the support of the sheath here, slid that over the glide wire deep into the target vein. And here we're removing the vein selector and the glide wire and inserting the LV lead. So we have this LV lead safely in place. We left uh, the, the uh, guiding catheter and the whirly sheath in place uh, while we then went on to implant the atrial lead. And so we put a sheath uh, into the right atrium um, and advanced the right atrial lead uh, into the atrium, screwed it in place. Uh, and now the, the next step will be to remove uh, the sheaths. And so now the, the R, there's the LV lead, here's the RV lead. Um, and the RA lead all in position and so we have an, uh, a functional system uh, actually the capture thresholds are less than one volt uh, so thank you for your interest this is an uncommon anomaly as I mentioned probably one in 10,000 so you may never see one uh, but if you do you have some clue as to how to approach it thank you